This is a bond. It belongs to Gamer XD. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to give him it yet, but I will do very soon. He won this in the giveaway on my last video. I will be giving away another bond with this video. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is subscribe to the channel and comment on this video. Best of luck. Let's get started. So by the end of the agility grind in the last video, I had a decent amount of marks saved up. I had enough for three pieces of the graceful outfit, but I already have weight reducing clothing in those slots. So I decided to go for the hood and the top, meaning I now have something in every slot and looking pretty good for the birdhouse runs. Hey look, I made a thing. This is a list of all the bosses I want to kill this year. A uh, few are checked off because I'm a brave boy and went out and killed them already. But there's still a lot to go and I thought it'd be fun to show the process of learning about them and how to kill them. If you've watched this series since the beginning, you will have seen me kill Jad already. Yes! 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 If you haven't, then spoiler warning for the previous clip. I've been streaming a lot of Barrows lately as it's currently my best moneymaker that isn't against Twitch TOS. It's fun and chilled at the same time, plus I've had pretty good luck there so far. Collection log currently looks like this and I couldn't be happier to be honest. Sarachnus on the other hand, which I've also been streaming a lot of, is quite demanding and fairly unforgiving when it comes to mistakes. But I've improved a lot since I started there and each time I go back I feel stronger and more confident. Here's the log. I'm hoping to get my first pet here soon so expect more of this in future Twitch streams. For many runescapers, myself included, Obol was the first boss experience. I was instantly hooked after that. I wanted to fight Obol as much as possible. This was before I knew of the wonders of Runelight, so I'd constantly be picking up bones in the hill giant cave, scared that I'd miss the giant key drop, and another chance at that sweet, sweet club. These days I have keys like that tagged, so I get a nice purple dopamine hit whenever one drops on the floor. Then I fucking send it without going back for food or supplies. That's right, I like living on the edge. Stats. So after nearly dying to a free to play boss in 2021, I figured it was time for a tougher challenge. Turns out Jagrix had just the answer in the form of another free to play giant based boss, Briar Fighter. And this one's got an even sexier unique drop, Essence. Nothing says Giant Slayer like bringing home the essence of a giant. Not that I would know because I have yet to do that, but I'm sure it feels great. Here's some more stats. So here's an interesting one that I didn't know about until I started growing trees for farming XP. At level 65 you unlock the mid tier of the farming guild and the ability to grow Hespori, which is a mid level boss similar to Briar Fighter. It has these immune phases where you have to kill the plants before you're able to do damage and it drops a nice unique in the form of the bottomless compost bucket, along with some questionably useful anima seeds. It was a fun fight, if a bit easy and it takes over 24 hours to grow, but you get farming XP for killing it, so that's a nice bonus. I got some seed drops from the few kills that I did, but I don't know if I'll ever use them. I'm not too big on actively farming. I'm pretty lazy. I just do trees. Next up on the hit list is the giant mole. Never killed him before, never been in here. Apparently there's one adventure inside the mole tunnels. I don't know what that means. I'm going in anyway. Yep. Don't care what that says. What is this thing? Baby mole? Not going to attack me. Good. Right, so now I just have to find him, I guess. I have not done any of the Falador diaries and I refuse just to do the mole kill. That's way too much work. So I'm just going to run and bear the mole hunt. This place isn't even that big. I brought stamina pots. We should be good. He's down here somewhere. Come on, mole. Where you are? Show yourself. I can see how this would be easier with the shield. <laughs> Having a big flashing arrow would be nice. Oh, this guy's already here. Shit. Mm. I don't really want to steal his kill. I guess I'll try and find an empty world. 
or this guy is chasing it. I don't know. <laughs> I think he must he must know where it is. He started running. There it is. I'm just gonna run in and attack it first, see if I can get to it. Oh, it's almost dead, shit. I found a sort of empty world. There was already somebody here, but... God damn. This might actually suck without the hard diary. There he is. Come back here, you. No, you don't go anywhere. God damn it. I didn't even do any damage to him and he buried away. What? I hit him for a zero and he still tunnels? That's lame. Seriously? He's done tunnel. No, come on. He's so low. Jesus. There we go. All right. First boss kill. Probably my only boss kill, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... This is such a waste of time without the hard diary. I'll, I'll try and get one more. I'll try. No, he's stealing my kill. Oh, he died. <laughs> I guess he wanted to. He, he, that must be deliberate. That has to be deliberate. <laughs> Damn, back in the day I'd have gobbled up all his loot for this death mechanic stuff, which I actually really like because I die a lot. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on. Yes, two kills. No pet. What the hell? Okay, I've spent the majority of my money. I've watched one video on the Zolra fight. Let's go and die in hilarious fashion, shall we? Okay, well, I just wasted a dose of prayer. What does that mean? All right, all good, just a misunderstanding. They wanted to sacrifice this little boy, and I have nobly and bravely offered myself in his place. Let's do it. I am 100% about to die. 100%. Hi there. Is he gonna attack? I don't... Oh shit, he is. Ouch. Okay, I was not expecting him to attack. I thought he was gonna uh, leave me alone for a second there. I guess... Uh... Let's go. Ow. I got this pretty hard there. Whoops. Uh, I thought that was a mage thing. Yeah, I thought that was a mage attack. I'm standing in poison. Is anywhere safe? Apparently not. I do have a ring of recoil on. Damn, those guys hit hard. I think I'm in the right place right now. And I'm praying mage. But he's attacking me with uh, alternating attacks, so... This is probably it. Pretty sure I'm dead. Well, I didn't get many attacks in there, did I? Standing in poison again. Cool. This is melee, so I think I'm safe here. Maybe. To be honest. Oh, should probably move. Now what do we have? That is ranged. He missed, thankfully. Is that ranged? Yeah, that's a ranged attack, right? So I want to be attacking him with mage. Probably not a good safe place for me to be standing, but and that is magic. So the little blue one is magic. I thought the little blue one was range. My mistake. My mistake. Easily done. Let's get out of the way of this uh, stuff, shall we? 
So what's next? That's range, right? I honestly don't know at this point. Can't attack him from over here though, so... Damn, those little guys hit really hard. I'm out of food, so... This is, uh... I'm standing in poison. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, he's poisoned down here as well. Damn. Alright, well, uh... I, I don't know. I don't know if I learned anything. <laughs> Let's go try again. Okay, I realise the problem. I was on the wrong world. Obviously. That was entirely due to ping. So, we'll get the kill this time. Watch this. Wow, I'm not killing these things at all. Do I not have a ring of recoil on? I don't have a ring of recoil on. Alright, just kill me. Just kill me. Okay, that was done. Oh, my ring of recoil shattered. That's mage, right? I keep forgetting. No, it's range. Fuck. Is that range or mage? God damn it, why am I so bad at this? Okay, honestly, I think this might be it. This might be it. Oh, that almost was it for me. That was almost it for me. Holy shit. Wow. Go on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Kill him. Why are you not attacking? What have we got? What have we got? I don't know what I just turned on. Turn that on, turn that on. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Please. Kill. Get the kill. Get the kill. He's dead. Yes. 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 Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, yes. Oh. So that was right at the... Just after the start of the second rotation. Damn. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Shut up. So I ended up going on to get a few more kills. I got more consistent, I knew what to expect a bit more. Honestly, what ended up taking me days probably would have been weeks if it wasn't for the Zora helper plugin. There's enough random bullshit in this fight to learn without having to immediately memorize four rotations that can also have random phases in them. I had stuff happen back to back that people with a thousand kills had never even seen. It's definitely not an easy fight, but it is an extremely rewarding one. I do plan to continue practicing and getting better. Even if the upcoming blowpipe nerf lowers the price of everything, I'll still have a use for the resources dropped here, and gathering them yourself is always preferable, if the content is enjoyable. If you're just starting to learn Zora or thinking about taking it on, I say good luck, use a guide, expect confusion, but have fun. So that wraps up this episode of The Hit List. What did you think? Got a good few bosses checked off, but plenty more to go. I've also gained a pretty good amount of levels since the last video. I've been doing a lot of AFK Nightmare Zone of an evening, so the combat's looking really healthy. As always, don't forget to subscribe and comment for a chance to win the bond. Catch me live on Twitch throughout the week, and hail Brassica!